Hey, Gaijin guinea pig here, and today we're talking about Shin Ultraman. Now, if you don't know what Shin means, it's not just on your leg, it's the Japanese word for new, so it's new Ultraman. And this follows in a series of reimaginings, tokusatsu reimaginings. Tokusatsu meaning uh, like a live action film or drama that heavily relies on practical effects like these kaiju movies or the big monster movies, right? You know, sometimes we watch them and they're like, wow, why don't they use CGI or something? No, that defeats the purpose of tokusatsu movies. Anyway, 2016 saw Shin Godzilla, which was the first in this series. I'm not sure how many there's going to be. Shin Godzilla in 2016. Now we have Shin Ultraman here in 2022, which was actually supposed to come out last year, I believe, but... Ovid delayed this movie, among many other things. And then there's going to be a Common Rider uh, film that comes out, a reimagining Shin Common Rider next year, 2023, you know, presuming everything stays on track. So I'm not a huge fan of Ultraman, but I do respect the character. He's been kicking it since 1966. He is a cultural legend pop cultural legend, iconic figure in Japanese culture. I'm sure there are nerds around the world that love him just as much, as much as they do Godzilla. Um, yeah, I'm really keen to check this trailer out because it's actually getting some buzz outside of Japan. In uh, Canada, for instance, I know they're playing it at a festival there. It, it made, in, in two to three weeks, I want to say, in Japan, it made... 26 million dollars which doesn't sound like a ton of money in the box office world but in a country as small as japan that's a lot of money so people are definitely still into this kind of stuff ultraman alive and kicking as relevant and popular as ever apparently it stars masami nagasawa who is an actress that i love a japanese actress that i love and it's got some other people, I'm sure. I'm just uh, focused Masami. So let's take a look at the trailer together and see what's going on in the world of Ultraman. Gotta A special effects and science fiction movie. What a fabulous tagline. 513, yeah. So, how can you not smile when you see those practical effects? Like, there's just something that's so charming about it, right? I mean, sure, there is that contingent of people out there that think it's really cheesy and stupid. But if you're into this kind of sci-fi, uh, a little bit campy, let's admit. But... I just think it's charming and I think it's funny and I really I like the fact that here we are living in 2022 but we're still rocking these effects that look like they're just straight out of 1960 or something like that yeah I, I think that's there's something great about that this looks cool it looks fun it looks interesting it, it looks like it's in line with like I said those the Shin series of reimaginings I would definitely watch this. Uh, Masami looks great. Fanboy alert. But it looks fun. 
could you not enjoy this? What do you guys think of Shen Ultraman? Does this look like something you'd watch or is this just a little too corny for you? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Give me a like, maybe a subscribe if you're feeling generous. Any other recommendations, anything you'd like me to check out, let me know. I love this kind of stuff. I love, I'm a Japanese cultural nerd, anime, music, whatever you want to throw at me, I'll check it out. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.